Hi and welcome to another Tag With Me. In this video, we will talk about exception filters. So, a Nest application has a lot of functionality in there. And one of the things that's always uh, difficult to handle are exceptions, right? So, uh, Nest provides a complete exception, exception layer. So, for that, we are just going to create another path here so we're gonna create add get rrr and it will throw just a new HTTP exception forbidden with the HTTP status dot forbidden one of the things that we need to add here is HTTP exception and HTTP status All right so this is just something basic all right so now we can start our server we do that with yarn run start now our server is running and like you know uh, when we go here to main.ts we have our port listened to 3000 so we can go to localhost 3000 slash R, R, R. So when we do that, we will see an error, right? Status code 403 for pin. We can also provide a custom message. So we can do that with the following code. Status, HTTP status forbidden error. This is a custom error uh, message right and then 403 of course we need to restart our server again and now when we refresh this we see status 403 and error this is a custom message it's great right Another thing that you could do, of course, we in a real life application put that into another file, right? Into the forbidden exception.ts file, but we don't have that, so uh, we can just very easily do new forbidden exception and then we can just very easily throw that, right? So that's a better approach. So Nest has some uh, or introduced some of these exceptions right out of the box. So you don't need to write more operate code. So that's really nice, right? So check them out on the Nest documentation and then you can see uh, certain examples of these uh, HTTP exceptions. So if you want to be in full control of your exceptions, you can very easily create um, something like this so we have something like HTTP exception and that catches all the exceptions that are being thrown like the HTTP exception and then um, we need to have a class HTTP exception filter that implements exception filter. And then we have a method here, catch, which has the exception and has the host. And the host, uh, we can retrieve the response, the request the status that you are in. So we can intercept the response and we can say to response, the response of status needs to be the status. And the JSON that we return is the status code status timestamp new date when it's been happening and then of course for example the path the quest dot url so we save that so now we still need to bind our filter to our method right so we can do that with use filters and then the HTTP exception filter And then we have 
import net filter from So now we can restart our server. Now we have our status code, our timestamp and our paths, right? Another thing that I want to show you is that, for example, we can very easily move this filter up to our class and it will still work. So it's very easy to cover everything uh, on the top level controller of your class, right? Of course, we need to restart our server. And when we now do that, we still see the same error code. We can very easily also use our own errors. So we can have something like own error, right? And here we can say throw new own error, right? We can save that and then we can create something like new own error dot filter dot ts something like that then of course we copy everything here It's maybe better to put own error where it belongs. Right here. And then, for example, you can indeed put the status, but then here we can say this is my own, for example. So now we can go here and we can just import our types and then here we can just say new own error filter right so that's great when we have that now we like you see can just easily add other filters with our comma but that's the same with own error in our catch we can also catch multiple errors right so so before we can start our server again, we need to go to own error filter. And here, of course, we need to export our class. So one of the things that we still need to change is here, we need to remove status. Here we need to have 500. And here also we need to have 500, right? So now we can save this we can start our server and when we now go to rrr we have five thousand 
and then here timestamp or part and a text this is my own so that's great right now we can very easily handle our exceptions within nest.js i hope you liked it please subscribe to my channel you will see some awesome other videos around typescript and typescript frameworks thank you for watching bye